just right. come across from Queen Victoria to Queen Elizabeth? I have just, uh, I came in Lisbon, I joined the ship, and I'm taking over today. Right. So it was time for a ship's change now. We do about three, three and a half years on each ship, so it was time for me to move on. And it must be quite strange, isn't it, because Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria are sister ships. Yes. They're virtually identical in all but the colour <laughs> yeah. scheme, aren't they? It must yeah. be a bit of a deja vu for you walking around. It's a around. deja vu, but it's also a bit mind-blowing because you walk around and, and everything's in the same place, but the colours and everything's different, so it's, it's quite mind-blowing, actually. Is your cabin in the same place, so at least you can find your way it's back to your It's in the cabin. same place, right. but completely different. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. so that's even more like uh, mind-blowing. <laughs> but at least the bridge is in the same place. Okay. And looks the same. All the knobs and switches kind yeah, of do the, the same, same thing. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Now we're standing on the bridge and yes. we're standing by the one of the control panels, aren't we? Yeah. So do you use this 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 to use when you kind of go in and out of port, this kind of yeah. section? Yes. Uh, either bridge wing, uh, usually, because uh, as you can see where, from where we're standing, I can see the ship's side here. Right. And I can look down here, which uh, can be a bit scary, but at least I can see the key side. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing to aim for, so that's why we have it out there. Now, you were telling me, because this is a glass panel, I don't know if yes, you were able to see, but it's a glass panel that just plunges down to the open ocean below. Yes. And also, you, you said that you've had an interesting comment sometimes from the guests. I there's... heard. I met, I met a gentleman who said to me, oh, it's really nice to see you face to face. And I said, yes, very nice to meet you. He said, because so far I've only seen the bottom of your shoes. <laughs> and I thought, what? And he said, <laughs> Yeah, I have the balcony who's just underneath the window up to the bridge. And all I see is just your foot coming out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you obviously, he was, you said to him, you're much happier to see me in my face rather yeah, than so just I my shoes. I hope the yeah. face is nicer than the bottom of my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Which he kindly said yes to. Captain, I believe you mentioned before about languages. Um, I believe you speak a very high number of different languages. Um, can you tell us? about that, coming from the Faroe Islands, how many you speak? You, I, live on, I grew up on the Faroe Islands. Yeah. There's one particular, specific language for that. Nobody else in the world understands me. Is that Faroese? Is that called yes. Faroese? Or? Yeah, it is. OK. So in order to give you the opportunity, they've chosen to say, OK, you have to, first of all, because we are a part of Denmark, you learn Danish, then you learn Icelandic, you learn Norwegian, you learn Swedish, <laughs> German, English, and of course I speak very so seven languages. I, 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 feel, such a, I feel such a fool, because I, I speak English and that quite poorly. And I'm, I'm chatting to you, you, you speak English better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, I think it's, you know, I, d I, I don't think, I've, I didn't feel like it was good fun at that time. I no, thought it was course. a pain, really. But today, it's, it's, it's a blessing. It's really, really has come very well in hand. Do you ever get confused and, you know, kind of turn to talk to someone and suddenly you start speaking Danish? Or... Yeah, I do. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll uh, especially if I, for example, if I've sp been on the phone with my mom or I've been on the Faroe Islands or they've been there, I turn around to my husband and start to speak Fa uh, Faroese. Right. And he's Danish, so he doesn't understand me. So he's like, OK, well, can we try that one again? <laughs> or he can come out on the ship and I just get out of bed and, um, you know, in the morning and I'll turn around and speak English to him. And it's like, I'm here in Danish. <laughs> oh, sorry, because I've just been on the phone with the bridge. So okay. sometimes, but not too bad, though. I'm quite good at switching. Do, do you think in English, then, most of the time, when you're working on the ships? or Depending. Right, OK. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really weird, in a way, if I have to count. Right. Yeah. I can start by counting one, two, three, four, five, and a little bit further. But then I start to count in Faroese in the end, not even Danish. Right. No, it just goes straight to Faroese, yeah. Because I suppose that's your, 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 nat yeah. your, your, nature, your natural yeah. language, yeah. But then it depends on what you dream about. I can dream in different languages as well, or think in different languages, depending on what you're thinking about. Incredible.